You can tell that the onions are almost ready when they start to have a little shine to them. They're looking shiny. That's the, the, the flavor and the juices being drawn out. That's why they call it sweating. Sweating onions is drawing out all the flavor and the juices there. And if you kept going, we're not gonna keep going. We're gonna go ahead and add our turkey. But if you kept going with this cooking process, um, you would notice them also start to turn brown. Uh, and if you've ever had a caramelized onion, maybe on a burger or on a salad, something like that, it's a different stage. It takes a little bit more time, uh, but also very, very good. Very good flavor there. All right, so we've got our ground turkey in. Now you can use any type of meat that you prefer. Uh, we went for turkey because this is more of a healthier, low sodium option here. Um, you could use pork, you could use beef, you could use a combination. It's really personal preference. Uh, you just keep in mind if you did use uh, a meat with a higher fat content, like a beef or something of that nature, it's going to produce more fat, typically. So, um, so you would have to maybe you may have to drain some of the fat off. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, just depends on you know what grade of meat you have. Right. And then while we're cooking that turkey, now would be a good time to get a little bit of our house seasoning um, and sprinkle it on there um, as it's cooking and browning. Okay. Um, now, our, our house blend is something that we make, but you can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning, whatever that is. If it's seasoning salt or sazon or whatever you like to use at your house um, would also work. Will work just as well here. In that house seasoning, we can't tell you all of our secrets, but there's some kosher salt, um, some uh, a little oregano, Italian seasoning, brown sugar, uh, black pepper. If you wanted to go, you can you can just do a little even come up high, nice even coat there. Yes, the sprinkle. Yes. <laughs> um, so it's a mixture of mixture of uh, also some dry parsley. Okay, so mixture of herbs and spices. This is also, we kind of double, it can double as a barbecue rub. If you're gonna do something, you wanna make it a little spicy, you can incorporate some red pepper um, or chili flakes. So there's ways to jazz this into different directions depending on what you're preparing. So that, that's the beauty of, of this particular season in there. Mm -hmm. 